Hello everyone, Ben Williams out here today in the field after work. Now I have my grandmother-in-law's 94th birthday party to get to this evening, so I'm doing a couple quick things here at the farm. Getting some cameras out because I just got some of these trails knocked in, and I wanted to get some of these historically good camera locations out because not only are they good for some of the summer inventory once in a while, they are really good spots that I want to let these cameras get into and start letting the deer get used to them um, for the fall locations. So what we have here, historical scrape branch right here. Um, I don't even know if I'll put a mock vine in it. I mean, but this one has enough historical um, use that it's always been a great scrape tree up here in this corner. It's a bedding area of mixed uh, old cherry orchard type with some successional mixed into a big, nice successional side hill here. Um, we released a big oak tree over here. Um, this maple would be good, but the wind swirls here are kind of funny, so you hunt this on perimeter spots. But this camera's a really good inventory because anything that even might come into this field comes in from a visual or a scent aspect and comes to this corner before they come out in this field. Whether they scent it or look into it, this is the key spot. So they'll come in here, hit this scrape, and they might even stay in cover. But it's a great inventory spot to get in. When I have a chance to get in here, recover a deer or something like that to get this camera pulled or just let it soak all season. So, but I want to talk about this spot. We got a great food plot location here. This isn't necessarily a hunting spot, but I want to get these cameras in here because I won't be back in here anymore this summer. So I want to get these cameras in here now and get them set up, start getting some footage, you know, some pictures, maybe some of the bucks that are going to be in here. And uh, you can see, you can just barely see it. Nice broke up box there it's kind of in that clump of a couple of trees doesn't stick out too much nice nice height on it not right down in a deer's face where they're smelling it and you know getting all that scent in there i'm um, just out here in boots and a t-shirt today getting this done so um you can see opened up the trail back into the field quick for him nice easy walking and with that camera the way it's angled i can cover the trail and i can cover that scrape and this little pocket i made when i backed the brush hog up in here to mow this trail out so I love this spot. You can see actually, if you look way down right over here, it's a big oak tree out in the plot, but then you see the tower right there. Man, that thing needs some <laughs> needs some brushing in. I can see clear across that. So obviously I gotta get some screening in on that bad boy. Should have been tucked in further back, but we can talk about that at another time. But just a quick little tip with this. I do have to go pee, so I'm gonna there at the bottom of this um they're not going to be really working the ground yet or anything like that but you know let them know that the old uh old tin cup bucks back in town and he's gonna be opening it up but the squirrels are in here like crazy getting these cherries in this old cherry orchard and it's just really cool um i've had a couple of them they're not quite ripe yet for sweet as they should be but they're pretty good but yeah so i set these cameras up nice little triple burst um, named up everything like that these are the exodus cameras i really like these cameras um, the warranty is phenomenal on them um, had one that literally just crudded out right before its five year and it was awesome i was able to get a brand new one um, just got dirty and grimy from sd cards and stuff going in it from over the years but other than that i've had no problems with them at all um, and anytime i have had issues send them right to exodus and I think I got comped a new camera in that situation. And then the other time I had a solder come loose from inside of it. But they replaced uh, replaced the camera or fixed the issue for your charge. So can't say enough about these. I um, really do like them. You get what you pay for with cameras I've found out over the years. Um, as you'll see in the, the photo for this one, I'll have 50-some trail cameras laid out. And most of them are going to Exodus now because of the quality and the customer service with it. Um, so if you haven't checked them out... Feel free to go check them out. I'm going to get this one fired up. Get these last couple cameras done. But as you can see, you can see the trail crossing and the scrape right here. There's a nice little ash tree for a, a look at. Kind of looking in the photo, looking in this. It's really weird. So, yeah, you can see all that right now. But So, there we are, guys. That's what I'm out here doing, getting these cameras fired up. Hopefully getting some nice uh, velvet pictures here in the next couple weeks this is hard to do with one hand don't mind me 
But you can see that tucks right up in there. Right nice tucked up in that. Doesn't look like it's sticking off the side of it, anything like that. It's nice and hidden from deer and from trespassers. Which also helps you catch trespassers and not lose your cameras. But, oh yeah, and uh, they have a theft warranty. I think it's 50% off your next camera if you have an Exodus camera stolen. So, that's a cool thing too with Exodus. But, knock this down. I was out here mowing the other day. This was a uh, curly dock mostly. Hoping that it wasn't too far along with seed. So, probably get a spray on this the next week. Get the rest of this stuff knocked down this week. Cut dad loose with my tractor while it's over here before I got to get it back to a couple client pieces. And uh, get the rest of these plots fired up. But uh, I'm pumped. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. It's a little what's going on with this week. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you all next time here in the field, guys. Take care.